Hello everyone, my name is Bao, and this episode I'll be showing you the basics of Keyboard Maestro. If you look over here, you'll see the learning objectives for this episode. We'll be learning about the user interface, and we'll be making our first macro. And along the way, we'll be learning about groups, macros, and actions. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I would recommend you do is when you install Keyboard Maestro, you get these following macros. What I want you to do is select, click on all macros and control all, delete. Because I feel the best way to get started with Keyboard Maestro is to start from scratch. All right, Keyboard Maestro is composed of three columns. The first column is our groups column and our second column is macros. And our third column is where you can find the options of what we have selected. So you can think of groups simply as folders to keep your, you know, your macros organized. Let's go ahead and make our first group. You can go down here to our um, toolbar and click the add group button. Click that. It will give us a prompt to change its title. And we're just going to be calling it working group. You can title it working group or anything similar to that. It's just a place where you can make new macros, try them out. And once you've gotten them just the way you like, then you can organize them into their appropriate, more specific folders or groups. So now that we have our groups, we can make our first macro. We can go down here, you can click the add macro button. Let's go ahead and do that. And then it'll give us another prompt. And I'll just title it, hello world. For now, you can think of a macro as being made up of two things. One, a series of actions. And two, a trigger to execute these actions. Let me give you an example. So let's go down here to this um, record button. You can see that if you have your group selected, the, uh, the record button goes away. So you want to have your macro selected, and then you can see that there's a record button. Go ahead and click on that. It'll give you a countdown, and when it's done, you want to perform your action. So for example, say several times a day, I have to open up stickies, make a new document, and type in Hello, world. All right, so that's our action that we want. So once we have finished recording, push the pause, the pause recording, and click the record button down here to stop the recording. So here's our series of keystrokes, and then we can activate it by creating a trigger. So we can click on that and go hot key trigger. All right, and we'll give you this little prompt here. And for now, uh, F10. So whenever I push F10, it is pressed, it will perform these actions. So let's give it a try. F10, 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 F10. There you go. That's the basics of Keyboard Maestro.